Hey everybody, it's Soaping Sunday, and today we are going to be making goat milk soap, and I have a new mold that I wanna try out, and I'm really excited about it because I've been searching for weeks for a mold like this one, and I finally found one. I don't know if it's gonna work because it's not made for cold process soap, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> Look at this. I have been searching for little goats in a mold that I could make custom to look like my little goats that I have here on the farm. I have seven Nigerian dwarf goats and I wanna be able to custom design each individual little goat to put inside of my soap and this is the only mold that I could find that I liked that could possibly work. <laughs> the only issue that I'm seeing with this is that it's very thin. And that was an issue that I ran into with the little butterfly mold. With it being so thin, the soap was cracking when I tried to remove it. I got around that by putting a thick pad of soap batter on top, and then I individually carve out each butterfly which is what I have to do with these that we made last week. I tried cutting some of them out the next day, but it was too soft. So I'm hoping giving it six days to harden that it'll be easier to cut these out. So I'm gonna cut these out and if they come out nice, I will put them on the soap we make today. But hopefully I can customize these to look like my goats and I can put a thick pad of soap batter on top and hopefully be able to not only unmold them without them cracking the next day, but also be able to cut around these tiny little details. These legs are really tiny, so I don't know that they'll be able to come out of the mold without cracking, and I don't know that I'll be able to cut around them easily. So we're gonna try it out. It's gonna be a little soap experiment. I did try out the soap that I made last week, and it's really nice. So adding the salt to it didn't affect the lather or the smell or make any changes that are noticeable. It still lathers nice, it smells great, and it's a nice bar of soap. So I think that's gonna be my trick moving forward is to use a teaspoon of salt per pound of soap to help it unmold and harden up quicker and just keep that cover off, unmold it the next day. Hopefully, if we do it all the same, we'll get the same great results like we did last week. So that's the goal for today. <laughs> get some soap that looks great, unmolds great, and hopefully this new mold will give us some adorable little goat and beds that we can put into our next soap. So let's get started. the soap. 
it went really well. It didn't get super thick. So I am hoping that tomorrow when we unmold it, it's gonna look great. And the little goats hopefully will come out okay. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, it is the next day and I am so excited to find out if this soap experiment worked. I am going to unmold the little goats first because that is what I'm most excited about. And I really hope they actually come out looking like little goats. <laughs> So okay, so, so far there's no cracking on the top here. So far there's no cracking on the top. So let's hope that we can unmold this easily without any cracking. My goodness they're so cute they're little goats they look really cute they look like fancy nancy and amelia bedelia's little goat babies they're so cute little buckskin goats so overall i'm really happy with how they came out the mold did split in half and the little tail came off of the adult goat but i think i'll be able to adhere that back on and then it's just a matter of once this hardens, can I actually cut out around all these adorable little hooves? But it's really a promising start. I'm really happy with that. All right, let's see how the butterfly mold came out. So these are some charcoal butterflies. So pretty cool. I do like those. And for this mold, this is the butterflies, dragonflies, and moths. Uh-oh, I just lost a butterfly wing. Oh boy. I'm gonna try unmolding it down here so that it is a little bit more stable. I don't think my hand was big enough to support that corner there. This is a much bigger mold than the little butterfly and the little goat mold. So I did lose this butterfly corner of the wing and this one cracked a little bit. But I gotta say, the charcoal butterfly with the cocoa powder interior is pretty cool looking. I had put the extra leftover soap in my sunflower mold. So let's just see what a charcoal sunflower looks like. Wow, that is gorgeous. I really like that. So pretty. And then this was a little bit of extra that I had that had a little bit of spirulina, so it's almost got a light greenish tint to it, but it's only a half size, but still very pretty. All right, so, so far so good. Not bad, a little bit of cracking, but it's all right. <laughs> I'll take it. Let's do the big mold now. So far, so good. I don't see any cracking. Let's hope we can unmold it. Just like the street lights lit this time, like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down. Can't be afraid to leave this out. We got this far, don't know how. I see danger in your eyes. They know we'll burn down the night. Come in just like the sun.
unmolded the day after we made it so that is awesome I am happy with how the sides came out nice and smooth nice and shiny and the backs came out good I had issues with this here so I had made these molds in advance to see how it looked with having color on the back but putting the molds in first it looks like it did float up a bit and then the soap batter kind of came around it so it really doesn't work having a soap on the bottom because it just gets sucked up even with a larger piece like this one so i know that that idea is out <laughs> however i could do a mold on the bottom with this color but again we could have issues with it bleeding through and looking uneven so I think I'm going to stick with just having the printed design because I really like that. And I do like the double butterfly. That's one of my favorites. I do like the orange butterflies. However, I really love the indigo butterflies and these charcoal butterflies are really neat. But the little goat molds definitely take it for me today. Those are my favorites with this being the runner-up. <laughs> it just looks really cool. And as for the smell, the lavender and cedarwood atlas smells amazing. <laughs> Very happy with that scent. So thank you for joining me today on Soaping Sunday, and we'll see you next week for some more soaping fun. And if you haven't started making soap yet, what are you waiting for? Get your soap on. And if you liked this video, could you give it a thumbs up? And if you'd like to see more, could you subscribe to the channel? That way you can see more of our videos. It really helps our channel out. One, two, one, two, three, four. Do you want to farm? A wicked awesome farm. Watch this channel to learn what to do. We love to farm and we'll show you. Yeah, welcome to our show. Well,